now the Intrepid, what 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 is so it? so it's a it's a huge aircraft carrier. It, it's a it's a Second World War class aircraft carrier. Right now now if you look at that and you've never seen another aircraft carrier, it's huge because of course they landed planes on it. Today's aircraft carriers are much larger. Right, and so, but it's uh, it's parked right there, right off of Midtown Manhattan in the Hudson River, and I think they also brought the Enterprise. Um, the Starship Enterprise? Because that would be too <laughs> doggone cool for words. That would be a hell of a museum exhibit. Oh my god. So, no, you mean, of course, the space shuttle, right? Um, even though I want it to be the Starship Enterprise, but the space shuttle I have. This is the space shuttle. It's the first, it's the very first mock-up of what would ultimately go into orbit. And the Enterprise piggyback mounted on a, on a 747. Now, see, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. And, and that, what, did they continue that? No, 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 no. They want, so, so they mount it on the back of a 747. Right. Then they launch it. I'm sorry. Then the 747 takes off, goes to very high altitude, and then they explode the bolts, and then this thing does maneuvers to come in for a landing. They were testing the oh, aerodynamics so, of it. Okay. Of the fuselage. Now, I thought So that it never the, went into orbit. Oh. But it's the it's it's like the thing that enabled the ones to go into orbit. I when, am when very it, I'm very embarrassed right now. When we found out that we're not getting one that actually went into orbit, a lot like some city officials complain, I had to get on and smack I, right? It's like, look, we got the first thing that enabled that. Right. So just ch without ch this, there is no th that. There is no that. Right. Oh, I like that. Without th this, there is no I that. I like that. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> you like this or that? No, I like I, you I, like that. That. I like that. <laughs> but here's what's embarrassing. What's that? I thought that because it costs so much money to rocket something into space. Yes. That they would put it on the piggyback of a 747, get it up to as close to. Uh, the thinnest atmosphere possible, mm -hmm. and then from there it would take off mm -hmm. and go into orbit because it wouldn't take that much fuel. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice try, Chuck. Okay, so a couple of things just to straighten this out. Go ahead. So 747 can go up to 40,000 feet, 45,000 feet. All right. And how high up is that? That's like eight miles. Okay. The orbiting space shuttle is 250 miles up. Okay, so, so that's not eight miles does not help. It's not eight miles doesn't do anything for you. A, right. B, B. Most this is what most people don't know. Okay, most of the energy in all of those rockets uh -huh. is not to get the space shuttle up. All right, it's to give it horizontal speed so that it can sustain orbit. So the speed, the, uh, so most of that energy, so the energy is to give it horizontal speed. So it's for circling, yes, not for ascension. Right, and yes, yeah, some of it goes to get, take it up to two hundred thirty miles. But what does that take? Right, you can drive two hundred thirty miles. That's, right. what, what is that? Right, it's going eighteen thousand miles an hour sideways. That's where that most of that energy is going. That's why shortly after it leaves the the the, the platform, what does it do? It, it does the roll, roll program and then starts going downwind. Okay. I mean down downstream. Right. And so, 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 did you ever wonder that? Well, okay, it could just go straight up, but then it would just fall back down to Earth. Gotcha. When you hit orbit, it is a sustainable thing that doesn't require your rockets. Gotcha. It's an amazing thing. Isaac Newton figured it out. So just smart guy. Yeah, he was a pretty smart guy. No, 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 he wasn't pretty smart. Really? The yeah. dude was smart. He was just smart. Flat out. No qualifying smart. Right. Yes. So you, you know, he's smart. Everybody else might be approaching smart, pretty smart comparatively. Yeah, you have to use, you have to modify the word smart as applied to anybody else. Right. Thank got you. you. Okay. I got you on that one. You got it. So, so, so now wait a minute then. So why would it need the rocket speed if you could sustain orbit just by falling around the Earth? Using Earth's, well, not using, but Earth's gravity, just keeping you in that loop like a satellite. Right, 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 Why well, do you need those rockets then? No, you need the rockets to get to the point oh, where that can happen by itself. I got you. So you got to get to that place, and then you're falling and falling at 17 whatever miles per hour. Yeah, it's seven, it's seven, between 17,000, 18,000 miles an hour, depending on how high up you are. Okay. Right. That's right. fascinating. Oh yeah, and there's somewhere there's a lot of energy that takes it to go high, so like geosynchronous satellites. Okay. Those, so the higher up you go, the longer it takes your orbit. So the space shuttle, space station, Hubble telescope, they take about 90 minutes to go around the Earth. Around the whole Earth. Okay, 90 minutes. The higher up you go, it takes a little longer. You go a little higher, maybe take two hours. 
Okay. And then maybe two and a half hours. Right. And then like four hours and then ten hours. And how I have And then there there is one orbital distance mm -hmm. where that takes you twenty four hours. There is an orbital distance. There is an orbital distance. And so lo and behold, that object, that satellite will appear to hover over the same location of the because earth because it's traveling along with the rotation of the earth right it doesn't care that you that earth happens to be rotating at 20 once in 24 hours right you get you endowed it with that orbit earth happens to rotate at exactly that speed right at that uh, rotation rate and so that's where we put all of our communication satellites ah. you park them park above them. two places and then you can send signals up and back and uh, oh gotcha so you're kind yeah. of triangulating the satellites exactly exactly based upon the fact where they're parked above the earth because exactly. they're moving at the same time the, or the and the same speed that the earth is now, now i'm old enough you're not old i'm old i'm old not you i'm old enough <laughs> <laughs> to remember that it was a big deal on tv when they said live, live via satellite, satellite. Right. Yeah, that was a thing and you said oh that's cool right that's a satellite today it's like you know you're on a cell phone talking to your friend and well now they the use beach. cell phones to actually talk to people on the news like <laughs> you know what i mean it's right like, right right yeah, right, right. Uh, Right. And, and you have that delay where it's just like, and now we go to uh, Jim on the spot uh, with this report. Jim? And then 35 seconds later, he goes, yes. <laughs> yeah. It was not 35 seconds. It feels like 35 feels seconds. Like that, yeah. yeah, that's probably like three or four seconds. So it takes time, you know, yeah. So if you're going to satellite, there's a delay because they're 22,000 miles up. Right. So it's the trip up and the trip down. You process the signal. There's this bit of a delay. So you don't want to use satellites for witty repartee. It just won't work. <laughs>